Fam, plenty of people having fun on this day. The beer, the green, and the food, and some very festive folks out there. All fun aside, police are keeping an eye out for us all tonight. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Nicely. For some, celebrating St. Patrick's Day can be an all-day affair. And that's where problems can begin. So Metro law enforcement has stepped up patrols. Thankful, though, for services that make their day a little bit easier. Our Lena Tillette has more 6 View Live. John and Mallory, I'm live near 44th and Leavenworth, and many of you are probably seeing this on your commute home right now. Green everywhere, people celebrating St. Patty's Day. Well, as it gets later, more and more people will decide whether to get behind the wheel or to get into the back seat. Uh, law enforcement tell me they're prepared either way. It's been beautiful. It's the party starts early on St. Patrick's Day. It's a Tuesday, but you can't tell at these pubs where the green beer is flowing. There is traditional Irish dancing, and the bar is packed by noon. It's something that we do, it's kind of tradition with me and my friends. We take it off. Not off today, law enforcement. La Vista Police tells us they have stepped up presence on the roads and your bars for a day notorious for drinking and driving. Today's a day where people started drinking early, which is not your typical type day. So with the number of people out there, not only, you know, the chances for an impaired driver is a lot higher, but traffic is a lot higher too. But Chief Lauston says the narrative is changing. Major drinking holidays like New Year's and St. Patty's Day are seeing fewer drunk drivers on the roads. And that's because services like party buses, cabs, Uber and Lyft give partiers no excuse to get behind the wheel. In a safe way, with a DD always, of course. We start off, we do the Uber, we do the cabs, like nobody needs to drink and drive today. The plan was kind of just our friend's mom was going to drive us all day. On the Uber app right now, it shows at least eight cars just minutes away from my location. You can automatically play online right there with Uber, so you don't have to really worry about that. You just click and go. An ease that Chief Lauston hopes will curb drinking and driving, but they're still out on the roads just in case. I think people prepare a lot better, but then again, once people start drinking, uh, they get stupid. And I talked to a couple Uber drivers, and they actually tell me it's great money for them as well. In fact, a few of them took off from work so that they can make some extra money uh, driving today. So if you do plan to head out, just make sure that you make arrangements so that you can get home very safely. With photographer M.H. Danker, I'm Lena Tillette, WOWT 6 News.